welcome to Kings Island. It is Friday, June 7th, 2019. We're here to check out, once again, the KI-2020 project suspected to be a Giga Coaster. I'm sure we've got lots more holes and stuff to show. Probably no tracker supports yet, but stay tuned for an upcoming post uh, that we'll have likely track on site, but also hopefully we'll be getting a written picture post out as well with the track arriving um, and the track being set outside at uh, nearby the nearby track plant. So once again, I want to just uh, remind everybody to please subscribe. We'll have updates almost every week, uh, as I've been mentioning before. So tons of updates coming and lots more excitement ahead. Uh, next up, we're going up to the Eiffel Tower. It's going to be a little windy up there, I'm sure. Uh, storms might be rolling in right now, so it might be a little bit windy, but we'll see uh, how bad the wind is up there and take a look at our next update. So we've made our way up to the top of the windy Eiffel Tower here. I'm hoping you guys can hear me through all the wind probably going through the camera right now, but I'm going to try to cover this stuff as quick as we can here. Um, first, these are the footers that are likely for the transfer area, the transfer track. This big rectangular one here is the turn going back into the station, and these boxes right here are going to be the track leading into the station. The station itself, I'm estimating right now to be right about here. Um, as far as the rest of the site is concerned, um, as we pull out and give everybody a wider look here, we can look around and see over here, uh, towards this dinosaur's alive area, we've got one big hole going in right now. Um, and we'll have better pictures of this, as always, in our written post. Um, so there's some big footers taped off there. Um, and you can see the rebar right here. These are going to be for some massive footers, uh, likely for the supports for the top of the lift area, which is expected to go right in that area, right there. So this is uh, the overall shot again of the area taking most action. Again, this is going to be a transfer area, like storage, uh, garage area, for trains not being used, or for like the maintenance shed, if you will. Uh, and that is going to be, sorry, I lost my angle there. That is going to be just before the station. So again, those footers here are going to be like the main trackway. These footers are going to be for the building that houses the uh, trains when they're not in use. So that's the excitement there. Um, we've still got lots of, or a l little less rebar than last week, but we've got more posts in place here. Uh, looks like might be more rebar to uh, build in. So pull back out so I can find where I'm at again. Sorry about the shakiness on this one. It's quite windy. Um, we've got one footer being completed right in this area here. Um, definitely taped off for some digging taking place. And lots of gravel being poured in all of these holes down there. So again, lots to see here at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Uh, we'll continue to follow the progress on this, but that other space that we've been showing you before now looks to be like a tent of some sort. Uh, it's going to be probably not related to our coaster, but uh, definitely still something to keep an eye on what happens there. It could be for haunt, it could be for something else. It might even be a parade float storage area eventually. And that is for the new uh, event they're having, Grand Carnival. They have some parade floats right here. Um, to see. And they're, of course, under tarps. So we'll have coverage of the Grand Carnival coming in starting in, uh, starting next weekend, actually, so stay tuned for that. And here we can see a little backhoe in action back over on the site. Uh, looks like he's just dumping gravel non-stop uh, into some areas here. So definitely lots taking place over there. So coming up next, we're going to take a look at the uh, Diamondback Transfer Shed. And again, these footers are just for that, for our new coaster, so uh, the storage of the coasters. We're gonna go take a look at that over at Diamondback, and that'll be coming up next um, in our video, so stay tuned for the, that, and then we'll wrap up from down there next to Diamondback. So coming up next, we're gonna be down next to Diamondback, but I wanted to give you guys an aerial view of that. This is basically what they're building over on the other side. So you can see the footers there and how they're laid out, they're squared. Um, and the supports are there. And then we have pretty much the turn going back into the station. So the only difference we're gonna have over here is basically the transfer is gonna be right next to the station, right behind the station, essentially. 
and that's the this again is the turn turning footer uh, right there for the new coaster. So we're gonna go down, take a look at that footer layout as I mentioned before, and wrap this video up. Stay tuned. So one final place to wrap up we've got down here is pretty much uh, this is the area I'm talking about where we've got tons of footers in this place right here. Um, you can see how they're very squared, very rectangular. They do match up as I showed you guys from the Eiffel Tower. And you can see kind of the bigger holes they're digging over there now, likely for that lift start as well. And then the bigger, bigger holes, uh, think about like these two posts right here for Diamondback. Those are going to be uh, likely those bigger holes for a larger foundation in place. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that over on the other site. And that's going to wrap us up from Kings Island for this visit. Thanks for watching along. Thanks for listening with all the wind in the air uh, up at the Eiffel Tower. My name is Jim from WildGravityTravels.com. For more, check us out on the website. We'll have a written post with tons of great pictures. And also be sure to subscribe to this YouTube page. We're always looking for new subscribers, and we'll be covering this construction almost weekly, I would say. And be sure to go listen to our podcast. We'll be letting you know anything that's going on in our travels and world. Stay safe, have fun at the parks. See you next week.